Many aspects of theater training include breath control, memorization, and even athletic fitness. Students studying theater often come out of it learning skills they take with them into the real world, actor or not. Being able to speak in public spaces, like on stage, a lot of like core, just belief in myself. The one thing that I appreciated with the theater in my younger years, I got to learn how to, to work with a lot of different kinds of people, types of people. Um, and that's helped me throughout my growth as a professional. I mean, acting really is just the study of being human. So being able to really connect with other people and communicate clearly has been extremely, it's invaluable in every walk of life. I grew up very shy and at a certain point I kind of was able to break from it and I thought I fully broke from it, but then I took the acting and realized I really hadn't. And recently I feel a lot more like I can kind of do, I can be me and not need to like hold back anything. In September, the Ohlone College Theater Department has begun resuming classes in performing arts on stage and in front of the camera. We always wanted to do an acting class, why not, let's, let's, let's jump on into it. And we did it and it kind of fueled all of us there, our own, in our own way, a little spark of like, I really like theater. What drew me here was I met a friend uh, and they, uh, it was just like the first day of classes and they, I just happened to mention that they were going to an improv class here at Ohlone. And I was like, ooh, improv, that sounds like a lot of fun. Lots of times it's just to check off a GE requirement and then they just fall in love with it. Uh, some are coming in from high school experiences and they want to continue that same kind of theater or drama or, or arts in general. Students in the Lone College's theater department get lots of opportunities to put their skills to the test. They get to have new opportunities and get to see what they may appreciate. Art appreciation, music appreciation, um, theater appreciation, of course, are all things that we want to have as an individual as we get older. Right, as we go through life. We collaborate on so many different projects throughout the season. So we're a theater and dance department, and we have a great tech team. We're doing show after show, whether it's theater or dance, and then musicals and so on. And uh, we just have a nice uh, flow because we've gotten to really learn each other and, and work together. But it isn't just classes and homework in this department. Students outside of class also find themselves members of a close-knit and open community. Had nothing but positive experiences while I'm here so far, so it's, I, I hope other people can come and share that with me. Yeah. Everyone is very supportive. It's very much, if you make a mistake, no one's going to point out your flaw. And if they do, it's more so in a productive, like, and here's how we can fix it sort of thing, as opposed to like, you did this wrong and you need to fix this, you know? In the spring, students can act and direct in short plays and skits in the annual student repertory class. Students who want to take part in a bigger production can join the department's fall play. This year, Ohlone College is putting on a production of Nick Deer's Frankenstein. I'm very proud of the productions that we've been able to do over the years. A wonderful department. Everyone should try because you learn so much from yourself about others and about what theater means to Ohlone. I was a mechanical engineering major and I am switching to have a theater major. I would say uh, if, if anyone watching is has even a little bit of interest just jump on into it like it's 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 very a, uh, a leap of faith but once you get in it you'll you'll know really really quickly whether it's something you like or not. If you want to learn more about how you can join the department please go to www.alone.edu slash theater and dance to learn more. This is Brandon Tran at the Ohlone Smith Center reporting for Ohlone Tri-City News.